Welcome back, computer arts students. Today is lesson two, foreground. Make a new layer, edit fill color, layer style blending options palette. Okay, to do that, we're gonna go back to our lesson one creation, and now we're gonna add to it. We're gonna create this brown foreground. It looks like the earth, maybe like a cornfield or something, some kind of dirt back there. Okay, so to do that, we wanna create a new layer. Let's just trash this and show you how to do it. Here's our beams layer that we created before. To create a new layer number seven, we go down to our palette, our layers palette, and we create a new layer here. And then we click on this, we can name, label it foreground, uh, let's just say earth or something. Okay, that works. Click off of there. Then we're gonna have to use our polygonal lasso tool. All right, so click on the polygonal lasso tool. And we wanna start it up here on our guide, but slightly off our guide, okay? And we're gonna make some beams again in our foreground layer because we want it to make it kind of look like it's a, a reflection from our sky beams. Okay, so I'm gonna start out here. I'm just gonna go out and go off my page right on the guide, click, hold down shift, click again, and don't don't start it, don't start it where don't end it where it started, because we don't want to close it off yet. So go slightly below that and then keep working from there. Click. Hold on, shift, drag. You don't have to hold on, shift. I just like to because I like to be, uh, you know, just more precise like that. But um, go back to your starting point each time. Click, click, and work yourself around just like you did before to create this kind of shadowed um, earth type surface. Now, we're not going to be finished. We're going to do some things to this. And of course it's not perfect, you know, things aren't going to line up quite right, but you know what, it's going to be covered up for the most part anyway. It's all about the design. And we can, once again, we can thank Miss Lori Taylor from Park Center for this uh, great lesson and, and unit in manipulating design and, and Photoshop. I'm excited to have it. Us teachers, you know, we got to stick together. Okay, so once we go back here to our guide, we're going to go back up, finish it off to our starting point, and now we have our marching ants again. Next step, uh, let's see, number eight, edit fill color. So what we're going to do is go to our color picker, and we're going to find a nice brown color. So go to our brown zone here, and you know, right in here between orange and, and black, we're going to find a nice brown. All right, click OK. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's going to be close. Then we're going to go to Edit, Fill. Fill with the foreground color, because that's where we put our brown, right, in our color picker. So click OK, and there it is. We made sure we're on our foreground uh, earth color. You know what I'm finding? We jumped the gun a little bit. Let's just rename this. You know, that's okay. We don't have to step backwards. We can, we can still use this. But you know what? We're going to name this foreground beams. Okay? Because we, we did something a little off. All right? We can still use that. But you know what we did? We, we didn't um, create an under uh, layer for that. So let's just create a new layer. Click on that. Click on that create a new layer button. Let's just name this foreground, no problem. We can always fix what we've done in Photoshop, okay? So you guys know, we're gonna fill this now. We are going to, um, let's just go out, go back to our polygonal lasso tool. Let's fix this problem real quick. I'm just gonna trace it out. Click here, click here, click this space. And just trace it out, go back, go back to the original spot okay and simply all we need to do is fill this in now with the brown so let's go to edit fill no problem sometimes we make mistakes we got to go back and that's all right okay but voila there it is okay deselect that we do have our foreground beams that's good okay but let instead let's darken this up a little bit let's move this above the foreground okay and here's a 
what we need to do is select our marching ants again because we, we want to um, just change this. So I'm going to hold down the Apple key or command and click on this layer. And we'll look what happens. It automatically selects what we created. Okay. I'm going to darken up this brown slightly. I'm going to click on this and just give it a darker tone of a brown. Just like that. You see the difference? Here's our current color. Now here's, a here's the new color. That looks okay for me. And now I'm going to edit fill this in. Edit fill. Or shift F5 on your keyboard. Deselect, Apple D, or select, deselect, and there we have it. There we have our foreground color of our beams. Okay. Let's go back to our foreground and apply a layer blending style. So here we go, a layer style blending options palette, number nine, we're on number nine now. Okay, so we're not going to click over here on the word because that'll just change the title of our layer. We're going to click over here off the, the name, double click there, and our, open up our layer style. If we go over here and click on texture, it'll texturize uh, kind of that earth below it. Okay, um, but I'm going to hit cancel. We want to put this on both. So I'm going to select both of these and I can just go ahead and, and merge these together. Apple E or merge layer layer merge layers okay merge down that works okay cs5 it's it's called a little something different well let's double click on this now put a little texture on here that put a lot of texture on there right so we want to change that it's a little bit obnoxious right now okay So under our layer style, we have blending options for our texture. We have uh, blend mode, opacity, advanced blending, uh, channels, fill opacity, and some other things. If we click on the word texture, it gives us some options uh, under pat pattern. It only gives us these two options uh, for the default, but we can click down here and we can get different types of textures. Let's click on rock patterns. You can, f you can feel free to, to search through these and explore, see what you like, see what you find. Uh, but we're going to click on rock patterns and we're going to append because it's gonna, we want to bring them all in. All right, so here's some different rock patterns. Um, you know, choose one that isn't too obnoxious, but these are pretty good. I kind of like that one. Um, something more subtle. I like the subtlety of that one. Um, that's even better, but we can, we can mess around with the blending of, of these a little bit better, a little bit too. Um, I like the subtleness of, of that one. Let's just play around with that one and see what happens. Let's close this down. Close down. <laughs> click OK. Um, we can double click on this again and it'll bring it up. OK. Uh, we, can, we can play around with the scale, the depth, if you want a little bit more of the texture. can invert it if you want if you want less texture I like the idea because I don't like the pattern that it gets you can obviously see a, a pattern back there I like to make it more uh, ambiguous of a pattern so um, yeah, you can play around with that though how much depth do you want that looks pretty good to me click OK and there we have our earth texture with the gradient uh, layer over there okay that's lesson two. Good luck.